EK Real Spicy with more clips. Don't forget to subscribe and bang on that like button. Now let's get into it. Hey, but this better be good, god damn it. No, I'm ticklish. No, you're not. You ain't ticklish right boy, there. I've been on my feet all day. I'm going to give you a foot massage. No, boy, bye. What you mean? Holla at me when I get on break. You holla at me? Why are you treating me so good? I know your love language is acts of service. I just want to show you how you should really be appreciated. <laughs> I'm about to go to Starbucks for you. You want your same usual, you know, caramel frap, caramel on top and the bottom with some whipped cream? Not you know my whole Starbucks order at heart. I mean, somebody got to pay attention to your cute. Why he always yelling at you? It's like, then you can't make a mistake. Let him step Curry miss a three, and then he mess up his parlay. He'll forgive him. That's him calling back? Yes. Don't even answer. Want me to give you a ride home? I'm going to wait. You want wait for him? Yeah. All right, where my hug at? See you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you smell good. <laughs> Look, don't start. Yeah, the fellas already know how this works. Definitely crazy accurate. Peep the hug at the end. Work husband always waiting for the killer. What really made you do it? Just be honest with me. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hear the excuses. Cause I, it's already said and done. I'm, I'm gonna take my stuff and just go about my business. I just want to know why. What made you really? We. Though? What do you mean? What I'm leaving for? I didn't. I told you. I didn't mean. Like it. It wasn't supposed to go like that. What? What you mean? It wasn't supposed to go like that? You opened your legs for another man. We've been. We've been in a relationship for like how much years? Four or five years? No, I told you I was ovulating and I was getting close to my period and you. Like, are never around. You're always working. You were ovulating, so you were getting close to your period, so you go f another man? Are you crazy? That's even worse. No, babe, you don't understand a woman's body. Like, I have needs. Okay, you have needs. So, your ovulation makes you want to go cheat on me. How much times have you ovulated and cheated on me? Let you me know. Because only, only once? Yes. Oh, how, how can I believe that? I'm telling you. Armani, you well, told you me you a lot. it in my phone, I didn't lie. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Lots of these women be cheating and running around just as much as these men do. But somehow, only the men get blamed or get the label of cheaters. And it's always justified with, all you do is work. What do you think is going to happen with a man who provides for the entire household or the majority breadwinner? How do y'all think the money is made? Right, you think it magically appears? A man has to make that money and it's gonna take time. Plot, plan, and execution. Certainly the way to pay him back is not to go off and cheat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While he's out working and busting his tail to try to make the thing work. And again, remember when many of these women say that they want a provider and a leader, right? And if they have one, they will fall in place. And that they could enhance and multiply what a man brings in. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that too. I'll say that again. I don't want to go back to my baby daddy. But you like, you got me cooking and cleaning. When I was with him, I didn't have to worry about all this. I didn't like, we had maids. He paid my bills. I didn't have to cook. I didn't have to clean. I had to do none of this. Just because I'm asking you to cook? What, like, come on, bro. Seriously? You asking me to do too much. And when I was with him, all I had to do was look cute and sit and sit pretty and work out and do whatever I had to do. Like, Baby, look at this laundry room. Yeah, baby. Look. You get mad at me. I should be mad at you. I told you I know how to cook. So this is what Seriously? you know. Like, this is what you asked for and this is what you got. Look at this rice pot. No way. Look at it. Yeah. Cooking rice in a pot. So, like... Hey, we ain't got no kids together. I can leave you whenever I want. We ain't married or nothing. Any black person that's watching this live right now, look what I got to eat, bro. You this girl making anything. black beans, I made you cauliflower, <laughs> tacos. At this point, you can go. I don't even, you can't even cook. Oh, like, what is this? You don't even, you haven't even tasted it. I don't care what state you're from. Florida, Louisiana, Georgia, Texas. I don't care who you is. Boy, ain't nobody want that. But when I got with you, everything just changed. She's just gonna wait for him. Mm. Yeah, we sure is gonna wait for him. With the door open up. <laughs> Once I see you get in that car, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. Man, listen. Ain't nobody about to taste that shit. I feel sorry for any man dealing with something like this. This is terrible. All I know is my guy had the door open, ready for her to get gone. 
chances are this is not the first time he asked her. He's been asking her this, and she's not ready to play ball. And so, again, not every arrangement is meant for everybody, right? She says she has something going on with the last dude, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but not everything is made for everybody, so he need to get one somebody that's willing to play ball, that appreciates what he brings to the table, and that's willing to play their part, right? He can make an agreement with her and she can stick to that agreement while he sticks to his and that might work but uh, a woman that's really not going to take his leadership and reciprocate the energy he puts in looks like it's not going to work for him so he he was ready for her to go right and see so many of these women asking why men don't want to settle with them long term or marry them this is one of the reasons why right you just can't be reasoned with and a man with direction, a sense of direction, willing to lead and willing to provide, and you're still not playing ball. You ain't doing nothing but draining them, right? That's what this type of attitude does. It's lazy and it's draining. Whereas the, I'll, I'll happily submit, right, when a guy is providing. You know, they say that they can get into their feminine, right? You saw what she was talking about. She could just work on herself, right? look pretty and work go work out all the things that would really just help her out personally of course they're not married yet that's what she say hey I'm, I'm not your wife yet but what would make a man think that she would just turn the switch on all of a sudden she's wifey and now she's gonna work and, and put in the effort I wouldn't bank on it and you hear she mentions her ex saying she want to go back saying she had a better situation right kind of putting it like she had a better situation again i always had a question of where is he now right like how did he win in that how was that a good decision for him you're no longer with him right so he did all of that for you to do nothing and what did he get for that what did he get for it <laughs> you know all you're doing is showing why why it's not good to do that Right, because now a woman, she doesn't put a lot of skin in the game, so she could just leave on to the next guy. And for me, you only have to threaten me one time with that type of thing. Right, if you feel like you want to leave, you can leave. Say no more. Go ahead and slide out. Right, the earlier the better. Let me know who you are. Let me know you're not really ready for this. Let me know that you're just selfish. You know nothing about what a relationship is. Yeah, let me know that off top. Right? The guy did everything, paid all the bills, and she was good doing nothing. All she had to do was look pretty. Again, what happened to that man? Right? You probably cheated on him, or he got tired of your shit. Right? You forgot to fill in that part of the story. Listen, now, I, I definitely want to pick up off of when you said find your husband. We're going to talk about that more because I want to know, do you really want to get married? No, maybe not. Really? I don't know. Yeah. I don't I, know. I think that's what some women should be okay with because I think a lot of women say I want a husband, but do they think about, do you really want to be a wife? Like a wife really is a job. Mm -hmm. Like you are signing up to put everything second, career and your family, children or whatever now trumps that. And I don't think, I'm not a person that feels like you have to be married to be validated. But I think once people accept what they really want, then they'll understand why they keep attracting certain people in their lives. So that's why I said, do you really want to be a white girl? I would say that yes, I definitely want a husband, but I don't know if I want a husband for the right reasons. And, I, and that's something that I'm checking in with. I want a husband because I, be, I believe that from my parents' perspective, right, I watched my parents and my mom had a stroke and now my dad is her caregiver, right? And she had been his caregiver all the way up to the point of her becoming um, disabled based upon this terrible, terrible health crisis. And I see that, I don't know if this is the right reason, but I see how they have been one another's solid rock and I feel like as I get older like what's going to happen to me if I don't have someone there that is like committed to me in that way that's the that's the thing for me I don't know if I don't know anymore about a whole bunch of things again this is why guys are trying to find out 
what you bring to the table. Because many of these women want a wedding and the title of a wife, but want nothing of a real marriage or partnership. And a lot of times you see women want a husband for selfish reasons. They really don't consider how they will be of help to their husband and what that means. But it's really up to men to determine who they are dealing with. 